when the wrestlers invaded judo, this was in the 70s, the right foot was way up here in the front. So it was really easy to come this way here and then just follow right back. He attacks Ippon Soinage. So see here, he blocks, and then all he does is step a little bit, turn, and then right in there. So that's what we call a kaishiwaza, or a return technique. And of course, this can be done with many, many throws. Kubinage, Morote Soinage, Hanegoshi, all kinds of techniques that you can thwart and then immediately go into Taniyotoshi. And it's especially a good time is that once you block them and they begin their retreat. Most people, when you thwart them, even if it's just a quarter of a step or an eighth of a step out, that's considered in my book as a retreat, as opposed to going directly into a second technique. Don't retreat, but continue. So it would be a renakuwaza, a combination or combining two techniques, or a renzokuwaza continuing right into a second one. He does the dashibarai. Normally you would come in here like that to do tsubamagaishi, right? So he comes in here, here, right? And you just stretch all the way out and you have taniyotoshi. When he comes in here, you turn the shoulder. See, you push this left hand, the elbow in, and you push the right hand, the shoulder back. Now look, you have taniyotoshi right there. All you're doing is taking their movement here, see here? and you're turning it more. So how I've turned him, and you see here, bam, I go right into Tani Otoshi. This is what most people do, right? Okay, here, turn him, and then go in. It's the same thing with the other foot. He comes in here, right here, okay? I turn him, and then I shoot my right leg across. So you can do it either side, same kumikata. You don't have to change your grips. One more kaishiwaza. This one here is on Kouchigari. So he attacks Kouchigari. I just pick up, put right down, and then right in here to Tani Otoshi. So when he comes in, the coach you got to hear, okay? So when I step back, immediately this hand, Tetsuzuki, an iron fish, it goes straight down. Now this right hand now is going to follow that. It's going to go in that same direction, down there. Now you see how I have him double back? And I just merely drop in. Because all this is synchronized. <clears throat> At the Sodai, the university that I went to, countering techniques were really a critical part of the curriculum there. So we did lots of counter practice. So Victor would have to attack, and then the only thing I could use against Victor was a counter. I couldn't go in and throw him, even though there was a gazillion opportunities for me to throw him. I had to wait for him to attack, and then I had to thwart it, and then I could attack. So that's a counter attack, right? So we had practice sessions like that. Only gonosen no kata or kaishi no kata, returning techniques. I don't think we do enough of those kind of things. The combinations you don't see a lot of. They want great big throws that sell tickets. These may not sell a lot of tickets. Okay, so now we're going to do renakuwaza. So you go in osotogari and then you step right into taniyotoshi. If he comes in and he steps way back here, I'm not going to be able to come in but I'm gonna turn and then bring this leg. You see how it comes through here? He's gonna step back with that one, the, the other oh. one. He's gonna step back with that one anyway. You see? So now I have perfect Tani Otoshi right there. I just slide the leg through. Could you go for this one if I step back? To the, this side here by simply coming around here, one, two. I always believed in the philosophy of friends close, enemies closer. I try not to have any space on all the techniques I've ever done. Just try to get in as close as I possibly can to make sure, number one, that the technique is effective, but also, number two, so protecting myself. If he comes in here, okay, and I drop back, and then I try to get it, look at how much opening there is. Now look, there's a ochigari right there. Bam! Now, I don't want that to happen. So when he comes in here, and I move out, you see right away, my hip is in there. He cannot do a ochigari because I haven't bent over so much. If he tries a ochigari, he's actually kind of helping me throw him. But once again, you're going to develop your own style of judo. I just show you different ways. My way is not always the best way or the better way for you to do it. You may feel more comfortable having some distance in there because you have long legs. Inoue sensei says I'll take you to make a bowl. Everyone's going to make a bowl, but no two are going to look the same. You're going to make your own style.